Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the ARC. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. My name is Allison Reed. I'm the house manager here, and I'm so thrilled to have you join us tonight. We are, in fact, live at the ARC. We do not have an audience. You're our audience, and we're so happy to have you. Um, thank you for joining us on this very cold winter evening. What a wonderful night to stay in and listen to the most excellent Aaron Zindel. Um, this is a way that we are able to continue uh, with our shows during this pandemic time. And it's actually been a remarkably positive way um, for us to connect with our audiences and for some new folks to learn about us. Um, probably tonight, most of the folks uh, listening will be familiar with the ARC and certainly will be familiar with Aaron already. Aaron Zindel is a longtime friend of the ARC. We love having her on our stage anytime we get the opportunity. Um, and we're going to have a wonderful night. So again, thank you for joining us. There is a virtual tip jar um, that you will find most likely in the comment feed wherever you are watching this. And we welcome any donations that you are willing and able to make um, tonight. This is a way we have of supporting our artists during the pandemic. And it's also a way you have of supporting the ARC. So any, in, uh, any donations that come in this evening will be split between Aaron and the ARC. That's everything I have for you. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to get you back here in the house, in the front row, that for the next time that Aaron Zindel is here. But in the meantime, we have her here tonight, and it's going to be wonderful. Thanks so much, everyone. Aaron, it's all you. Triage to the mind. 
montage of the scenes of my life as I'm getting it together. Out of the mind games to the reframe with a new name, I'm good and I'm only getting better. Cause you are not a part. You Thank you so much for coming out tonight. My name's Erin Zindel. I've got a lot of new songs for you tonight. Such a dirty habit, always looking around, checking the quo of the status, in status quo town. Keeping up with the new rules, always being laid down, tiptoeing inside the lights, being drawn in the ground. It's an impossible dance, it's out of my control, but I came here for the music, where's the rock and roll? I built the city, now I'm repaving the streets I am the only one walking on these two feet If I tear down the fences, will I be defenseless? Cause if the fear is endless, then the walls are senseless In this new regime, I am the only police get ugly and I don't even care calling out all the lies and I'm clearing the air it's the sort of slipstream keeps us stuck in our lives it's the dumbed down daydream that hypnotizes you trick me to trade my power for the safety of my little box now I'm gonna kick you the fuck out Cause I busted right open and I've opened my eyes I'm no longer taking the dosage prescribed of your poisonous words And your casual lies No one has seen life through the back of my eyes Witnessed how harshly I've been criticized I've been told that I'm worthless Told to shut my mouth, go crazy Held back and held down And there's nothing to prove I don't even have to explain But I've got a new book of matches I'm not afraid of the flame Cause yes, I'm a good girl But I can be a ball breaker Not to care of my own business Cause I'm a risk taker And I go against the flow I'm gonna rock this boat I'm changing everything 
I left my set list in the green room. That hasn't happened in a really long time. None of this has happened in a very long time, but uh, I, I may be at a loss without it. I may, I may need some uh, assistance with that. <laughs> oh, oh um, I need my own very specific notes, but thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's the list. Uh, I'm gonna need something that tells me which which setting on my piano to use for each of these different songs? I create my own my own sounds on on this piano, um, for and each song is is very specific. So um, this next one is one of the songs from my. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this one is one of the songs from my solo record.
I took a trip to Argentina when I was 19. And I've never told this, this, this particular story before, actually. But I figured since um, I can't see any of, of your faces, I might as well just tell, tell you stories. <laughs> I'm just telling stories into the, into the darkness here. I'm glad, you're, I'm glad that there are people listening, though. Thank you so much for being here. And um, this is a song that I recorded with the Ragbirds in, um, uh, I think this was our, the album is called Finally Almost Ready. This is the title track from that. And I've never told the story behind the song before. And I've only played it solo a few times. We never really played it much live as a band. It was one of those songs that just kind of existed on a, a long past record. But it was a, it was a, a, it came from an experience that really shaped me. Um, in this trip I took to Argentina, I was in a church, a charismatic church, where the pastor had a word of, of prophecy for me. And he spoke this, he, he called me out and, 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 and people were speaking in tongues in this, in this church, which was very surreal for me because um, I don't speak Spanish. So I couldn't tell when they were speaking in tongues and when they were just speaking. And so um, there were, but there was somebody that translated the, this pastor's prophecy over me as, as he was saying phrase by phrase. And it was like each phrase that they were translating, I was like, really? And I'm like looking behind me, like they, he must be talking about somebody else. Because he was saying all of these really, really beautiful um, things about me, my, me and my life and my future, that he saw this vision of me like performing and uh, for, for lots and lots of people and my songs like really changing people's lives. And, and, and it's funny because... Um, we say, it's, it's a common thing to say, oh, that sounds too good to be true. And I, I was thinking about that and realizing I've never once thought to myself like something was too bad to be true. Like that doesn't seem possible. It's like any, I can believe any uh, horrible story you could tell me, but if you're trying to tell me something really good about myself, it's, it's very hard to believe. And so this was many, many years ago, and, and I've changed so much since then, and so much has happened in my life since then. And at that time, I couldn't have imagined myself performing, even in this setting, but you know, I've, I've made a living touring and, and performing with my band. And I, at that time, though, that when I was 19, I, I couldn't have envisioned that for my own life. So when he prophesied that over me, it was like so hard to believe. So this song is, is uh, a song, like I said already, it's called Finally Almost Ready, and it's a song about kind of learning gradually in, in my own time, very slowly, how to accept um, these kinds of good, good things, good words. Spaniel, he told her he could see a gleaming future in her smile. But it might have gotten mangled in translation, but she held it in her heart for a long while. He was a holy man, he washed his hands in the holy water. He was a fine and fiery preacher. She could believe half of what she understood It would do her heart the greatest good She's been preparing to be ready to start thinking about changing Her heart is tired of being the enemy in the world been waging she's been weighing good and bad at fight with the cons and pros and she's finally almost ready to go the years of excuses cry 
pressure and an avalanche of doubt She changes her mind daily about whether she deserves to get out She's now the wife and the mother of a world she cannot carry on her shoulders And it's easier to put off making plans till she gets a little Some rebel hope that refuses to stop speaking its mind And her dreams won't wait for a convenient time She's been preparing to be ready to start thinking about changing Her heart is tired of being the enemy in the war her mind has been about changing My heart is tired of being the enemy in the war my mind has been waging I've been weighing good and bad advice with the cons and pros And I'm finally almost ready Most of the songs I'm playing tonight are not yet recorded, and this is, this is one of those. I may record another solo album soon. I've been, uh, in, through, this, through this pandemic, I've been spending lots of time um, writing when I can, but it's, it's been very hard to, to do that. Um, I have a, a seven-year-old daughter who I'm now homeschooling as I know many of you are in the same boat trying to figure out how to parent and and juggle a, a career at the same time not just parent but I mean like full-time schooling and all of that so um but one of the things I hope to do this year is to record a solo album there's so many songs that have come out and that that I've been enjoying playing solo and it's a whole new experience for me really it's 
I haven't performed this way without my band very many times. It's been, I don't know, maybe a dozen or less um, solo performances. So I still feel a bit out of my element and I miss my band so much and I really want to just send, send my love out to those guys. I have the best, the best crew and, and, and band mates in, in the world and I, I love them so much and I haven't seen them we haven't played together in, in a year, aside from the, the little uh, song or two that we did for the holiday show. So, um, but anyways, this is one of the songs that um, I will be recording once I get a chance to do so. It's called Another Life. <laughs> Once I lived another life Practiced doing all things wrong I gripped my grudges, pushed my friends Plugged my ears and screamed my song Had a fist for every fight A crutch for every body part I must have been a garish sight Fighting and then falling apart It's not like I say that I'm fixed but I'm learning every day to live like I'm the luckiest person to ever exist cause I will never need more than I can give once I lived another life built a heavy load of death Killed my dreams with hand grenades Partied with my own regrets Burned my bridges to the bone Never thought that I could change So instead I died alone Worried what the world would say It's not like I can say that I'm fixed But I'm learning every day to ever exist cause I will never need more than I can give oh I know I won't get another oh I know things I can't undo Chinese New Year, you guys. Um, Mark Allen, my uh, I'm gonna shout out him. I'm gonna give Mark a few shout outs tonight, but but he, he he not only set up this beautiful little setup for me, but he gave me these beautiful little Chinese New Year um, decorations on my microphone, which I'm really enjoying. Um, and it's uh, it's also Valentine's weekend, as as you know. And I was, you know, my first thought when I get a 
gig any time around Valentine's Day is like, oh, I got to pull out all of my love songs. And then I realize like, oh, wait, I don't have any love songs. So I, uh, I, I did write this one. And, and I'm, I'm going to give you a little, a little spoiler that um, I, I wrote a, another one. I wrote a brand new one that I'm going to be playing at the very end of after the show's all over. I'm going to sneak an extra one in. So if you stick around all the way to the end, you'll get to hear a special brand new one that I think counts as, as a love song. But this one is a song um, I wrote last year. And this is one that um, is a song about try, believing that, that love shouldn't be quite as, as hard as we make it out to be. And after having been a, through a really, a really hard experiences, and many, many of them throughout my lifetime, I'm like trying to believe that, that love can be and, and should be easy. Cheers to all you lovers out there. Which is all of us. of innocence stalk the hallway singing with tambourines there's a pretty senorita 
trying to scrub the bathtub clean. There's a child with no birthday, two weddings with no vow. There's a room for every stranger who's as strange as I am now. Cause my mind is like a maid, always cleaning up after filthy guests. My heart's a hotel where these weary, worried, wanting thoughts can rest. And I'm the innkeeper trying to pass the white glove test. I'm the innkeeper. Take a seat inside my kitchen Where I feed my hungry dreams Every aching stone is covered With the moss of memory And I keep washing the same window Trying to change the scene Someone's knocking, someone's always knocking Please, won't you please let me be Is like a maid, always cleaning up after filthy guests. My heart's a hotel where these weary, worried, wandering thoughts can rest. And I'm the innkeeper trying to pass the white glove test. I'm the innkeeper. Oh, you can blame the leaky ceiling, or you can blame. COVID-19 But in the business Of lately I've had lots of Vacancy Yeah Cause my mind is like a maid Always cleaning up After filthy guests My heart's a hotel Where these weary Worried wandering thoughts can rest and I'm the innkeeper trying to pass the white glove test. I'm the innkeeper, oh. I'm the innkeeper, oh. I'm going to play a little medley of three songs. The first one is one that I recorded on the Ragbirds' most recent album called The Threshold and the Hearth. And then the, the two that will follow it are brand new songs um, that kind of spun off of where the first story left off. This is called Strange Weather. Strange weather in our home Seasons where the summer heat can't melt the snow And if you are hot and I am cold ooh, ooh, Fierce winds gonna blow Strange weather at last 
for days A dark cloud moves over and it just stays And when the atmospheric pressure changes Just wanna know 
so charming and sweet as you casually dangle the key. Criticism was my daily bread Familiar as a voice inside my head You made me doubt my sanity But I know the truth, I know the truth, I know the truth Thank you all for tuning in while I play all this brand new, brand new music. It feels good to be on a stage and sharing these, these songs. I've written a few songs on ukulele. This is one that I wrote while I was on tour with the Ragbirds. And I had a really beautiful and rare experience where rare because I, I there was there's not much downtime on the road and this was a really beautiful morning meditation in a really serene environment with like a I was outside there was this pond and I could see the tre the trees that were growing up all around the pond they were reflected in the water and looked like they were reaching in both directions and I had a brand new journal I was I was writing in and I had turned to a blank page and, and was just about to 
right when a dragonfly came and landed on the page and it stayed for a very long time and I, I did a, a meditation. I closed my eyes for like 20 minutes and when I opened my eyes again, the dragonfly was still there and I even drew all around it. I traced around its wings and I wrote, good morning, dragonfly. And it was, it's sometimes it's these little super minuscule moments of our lives that, that have such a huge impact because it was just so much needed, that, that rest and that little, whatever, whatever that was for me, that, that inspiration, that, that just little, um, it, it spoke volumes to me. So I wrote this song about it. Good morning, dragonfly. You've been burning through the night. A clean day rises now. And you've ended your flight on a piece of paper where I was just about to write. Won't you stay a while, little dragonfly? Won't you stay a while, little dragonfly? The sky is upside down. Fish is splashing in the cloud. My blue reflection looking in, looking out. Cause I've been suffering Is that why you have come To keep me company In the quiet of your love or Keep me company In the quiet of your love Now I'm exactly Where I'm meant to be Getting here was easy Once I let myself go And you have let me blank page to write about the change as I become my own evolution everybody's dreaming I've been trying to wait I've been dreaming in circles a trial and mistake but my path is a spiral an ascending staircase Give me courage now before you fly away Cause you're the part of me who's always strong and brave Now I'm exactly where I'm meant to be Getting here was easy once I let myself go And you have led me to this blank page To write about the change as I become In the pay of opening lies the ordinary bliss Taking notes around your wings These subtle revelations are too easy to miss No, I'm exactly Once I let myself go And you have led me to this blank page To write about the change as I become My own evolution My own evolution I wish I could see your faces and hear your applause, not just for the sake of getting applause, but just to to hear and feel your, your presence. We're, I think we're, we're growing somewhat accustomed to this as, as a thing, as an idea, as, as a way of doing music, but it's, it's nowhere near a substitute for the real thing. It's, um, it's very hard to do. I wanna, I've been thinking about my friends that I 
I haven't seen, who I really still love and, and miss so much. There's so many people I have not kept in touch with over this, this long season, which just seems to stretch out longer and longer. And I was thinking about, I was thinking about how much I wanted to let all of my friends know in one fell swoop that like, if we've ever, if you know that I, that I love you, if you know that we've had such great times together, that we have a deep connection together, that that hasn't gone anywhere, that I'm still here, I still love you, I'm still with you here, and, and it's been, it's so hard to catch up, it's hard to keep up with everyone. And this is a, a song, I just wanted to send this, this particular song out and to all of my friends. If, if you're wondering, if you're, if you're feeling that, that disconnect from me and from, from all of your friends in the community, we're all still here. We all still, that the connection hasn't gone anywhere and it will, it will come back in a way that we can actually feel and experience again. And I'm still on your side. So this one's for you, especially if you're struggling tonight. And it's harder to reach out when everybody's so isolated too. And if you need to, if you need to reach out, please do. I never spoke to God in tongues of flame. In the dark, I've been lifting up your name. Been marching through some rough terrain. You're in no shame to walk. This is not the movie of your life. You don't have to be. Thank you. 
tunnel to your burning light If there's a war in your country I am armed to the teeth I'm on your side I'm on your side I'm on your side I'm on your side I'm on your I'm getting near the end. I had so many songs I wanted to share. I had a hard time deciding which ones to play tonight. And I may have chosen more than I needed to, but I hope that you're all sticking with me and enjoying all this music. Um, I want to take a moment, because I've only got two songs left, I want to take a moment to share um, some of, of my deep gratitude for the people who have made this show possible tonight. First of all, for the ARC, for opening up this stage and for uh, making, this, making this possible. There's just a wonderful, very small and, and sweet crew here. And so I'm grateful to the ARC. And, and I, as, as Allison mentioned before the show tonight, there is a donation link and the money that you give tonight not only goes to me to support my music and my continuing efforts, but also to the ARC. And it's so important that we have stages to come back to once this pandemic is over and we can go out to see live music again. So I'm encouraging you to support uh, in that way by checking out the links there. Also, um, my, my crew here, um, the Birdhouse Productions crew, Mark Allen, is just, I can't say enough about Mark and all the things he does for, for me, for my music, for my life. He's just been such a great friend to me. And he's, he's our audio engineer tonight, but also um, he designs all this lighting and he just goes so far above and beyond. And Corey Robinson, who's on my, who's always the guy I call my video, uh, my, my very good friend and also uh, such an expert videographer who I always count on for these, to, to help me to get this music out to all of you in a beautiful way. Um, Mark also connected with uh, a man named George Winters, and I want to give some love to George Winters, who owns a company called Keyhole Piano Shells, and this beautiful red piano tonight, he, uh, is because of George, he's, he let me use this tonight, and so, um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Keyhole Piano Shells for this beautiful, I'm, I, I want this to be a part of my life, <laughs> but it's great that it can be a part of my night tonight. And I hope that you're enjoying how, how pretty it looks here in the stage. Um, and also, of course, I, I already shouted out to my band, but I just want to shout out to them again. TJ, my brother TJ, I miss so much. Um, my, my songwriting partner. Um, and, uh, also, uh, Shannon Wade and Lauren Kranz and Alex Holy Cross, my, my good friend who's been, Alex and I have been playing as a duo and writing songs together. And Alex plays with the Native Howl. And so I just want to send some love out to those people specifically uh, for all their support and looking forward to getting on stage with, with all of them in the very near future. Um, oh, one more thing I need to mention, which is that I have, the Ragbirds have a Patreon page, which is, it's been a huge um, help to keep going over this last year when, when we haven't had stages to play on. Um, and so I've been sharing a lot of the new music as I'm writing it there on Patreon, so you can find it there. And this next song I wanna share is a song about the songs and how much, I, how grateful I am for that, that songs continue to show up, that as long as I sit down at my piano, there's always something to be said. There's always something to ex explore and experience. 
And that is also something that has kept me going and having a place to share those songs like on Patreon um, in, in, that, in that way and some people to hear it. I, you realize more than ever right now how important it is to have the other, the other part, which is the, the ears to hear the music. So I just want to just um, play this, this song for you. I've got just two more songs left tonight, and I'm so grateful that you all are here. I told my songs to go away. I said, nobody needs you. There are too many of you, and no one will hear your quiet message and all this noise. The songs keep coming They don't give up so easily The songs keep coming With words of love for me I told my songs I wasn't good enough I said Find someone better who can sing you to the top of the world Where you deserve to be But the songs keep coming They don't give up so easily the songs keep coming with words of hope for me There's a hole in the plot. I was told a simple story as a child, and I believed it to be a governing rule. I never questioned. The show must go on. One sentence has shaped virtually all the decisions I've ever made. People say break a leg to an artist knowing if they do, the rule still applies. The show will go on. We're trained to power through, trained to do our costume changes in the wings, to line up our beverages and remedies in the green room, to put thicker makeup over the shadows where sleeplessness bruised us, to do whatever it takes to align our right foot with the downbeat, never giving up or easing up until the house lights come on 
to let us know the ride is over. The show must go on was the only law. I offered myself up to the spotlight every time the curtain called. Sick with strep, voice wrecked, bronchitis, rhinitis, hay fever, high fever, cracked and coughing. I put on a show, full term belly for a kick drum. Got back on stage five weeks later, 35 hours of labor and a C-section still unhealed. Baby backstage crying in Mima's arms, forgetting my own words in ill-fitted dresses. Nipples leaking, fingers swollen, unkept, unslept, and wiry as a wild animal. Humiliating. Even after the worst possible phone call, I plugged in. I stepped up to the microphone, shocked, weak, no time to grieve turned my back to the audience and cried through the musical interludes, catching my breath to sing the songs my friend used to love. How many funerals have I missed? Family weddings and gatherings and celebrations to travel hundreds of thousands of miles across 47 states up windy mountain trails in blizzard conditions, through suburban wastelands and desert sprawl, changing seasons three times in a day, breaking down in every possible way, paying cash to strangers to tow and feed and fix us so we can get to the next show, which must go on. I've played jet-lagged, heat-stroked, frost-bitten, heartbroken, hungover, inebriated, exhausted, depressed, and underpaid. I've played at my own expense, at my own risk, to crowds of 10 and 10,000. They called it paying my dues. They called it living the dream. I called it my life's work, a job that I've trained for since I was nine years old. Even then, I knew the terms. And so the show went on. For 23 years with no plan B. And I was just about ready. My band was well rehearsed. Bursting with new songs supported, equipped, polished from all that grinding. I was just getting ready for the next show to start. And now, without warning or explanation, without rain check or refund, the show is over. But think 
You had too much to drink And I've only sung Half of what I should have said Let's get out of the way Let the brooms sweep away the day See if some kind stranger Has an extra bed The lonely have gone home alone Spotlight has no more shadows to throw It's time to go Cause the show is over What do we have to show? We're still living on four wheels With nowhere to go Thank you so much, everyone. That is officially the end of my show, and I am I since since um, we don't get encores these days, <laughs> we have to we have to call them ourselves. I actually just have a secret special song that I wanted to share that um, I'm, I've kind of been been holding back. That's a it's a surprise in in honor of Valentine's Day. And I wanted to um, I want to play this. So if if you if you've been enjoying the show so far, um, the show's over. You can you can all go home and and leave. If you want to stick around for this little private song, I have I have one audience member here tonight. One person in the audience here to see me tonight, um, and that's that's my my partner Ross is here. And so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this song for Ross. You all are welcome to. to eavesdrop and stick around for it if you'd like but uh it's brand new like i just wrote this song within this week i've been putting this one together so this is it's this is real real risky but here it is it's called quality i have to find my sound I don't remember meeting you It's like we've always known each other I was poor and you to we laugh and commiserate together starving artists share a feast that would leave a rich man hungry one Saturday without a show you called me just 
Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you all so much for listening tonight.